And will you allow yourself to be strip searched just to rule out any rumors? God, this is <laughs> this is just too good. This is seriously like out of this world insane. Let's start. Well, I'm joined now by Hans Neiman and by his lawyer, Terence Obiff. So, first question, uh, Hans, for you. Why have you got your lawyer with you? <laughs> well, uh, considering the, the recent uh, case and settlement, uh, some legal questions I'm, you know, my, my lawyer might be able to better answer. And uh, to be honest, uh, I'm, you know, uh, Terry and uh, his team has been frankly, you know, great in, in, in helping me resolve this case. And uh, I'm very, very thankful to them for believing in me. And, uh, you know, this is not just a... Uh, he's not just my lawyer. He's, he's a friend, he's a confidant, and he's someone uh, who I trust uh, fully, and uh, uh, that's why he's here today. OK, so look, you, you are a chess prodigy. Fun, 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 fun fact, first things first, I'm, uh, first things first, I'd be honest, like pay, paying your friend. Um, first things first, it's pretty funny calling your lawyer a friend. That's... Uh... That's, that's an interesting way of looking at it, but let's keep going. No question. You're a grandmaster, which you got that title into 17. You rank the fourth best junior chess player in the world. So you're a brilliant chess player. The question mark that got put over your head came after you beat Norway's world champion, Magnus Carlsen. This is back in uh, Missouri in September 2022, so a year ago. Uh, and you beat him, ending a 53-game unbeaten streak. And okay. uh, as a result, you were accused of being a cheat. And you were accused of cheating... Quality is good, in right? ..in a particularly yeah, good. Uh, fascinating manner, which is the allegation was that your coach had basically uh, instructed you to insert anal beads inside yourself, <laughs> which he would then send remote signals to. Uh, oh, my God! First of God. all, when that story... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is... <laughs> I don't. For, first of all, I'm going to say this also. First of all, a big shout out to, of course, the legendary chess bras. Um, for, first and foremost, because the, this whole thing with anal beads started because of the chess bras and someone in their chat. And the reason that it exploded is because the richest, I, I actually don't know if he's the richest per person in the world today, um, but the richest person in the world, of course, Elon Musk tweeted about this. Let's keep going, though. Broke those allegations. What was your reaction? Well, obviously, it was very disheartening. Uh to be accused of cheating after, after that victory. Um, but, you know, uh, uh, these things, you know, uh, it, it happened. Uh, and I learned a lot from that time. And uh, it really has taught me a lot of very, very important lessons uh, about life and chess. And uh, I think it's only strengthened my resolve. Uh, and it's only motivated me, you know, further. And uh, it's, it's shown me that, um, you know, with, with the help of people like Terry, you know, in, in life, you know, it's, it's really important uh, to have people who help you. And that's why, be because of this, I've started a, a scholarship where I'm giving away $10,000 to talented chess players throughout the world. So, you know, I think that, uh, you know, when, when difficult things happen what? to you in life, you have to learn from them and you have to, uh, you know, uh, move forward. Uh, and, uh, you know, you can't live in the past. OK, but just to be clear, you didn't cheat. Of course not. So what have you, what have you had to learn if you didn't cheat? <laughs> Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! You cannot be serious. I had a feeling this was going to be funny, but oh man! <laughs> oh jeez! Oh my gosh! Jeez! Well, uh, I think uh, the learning experience was more so the media attacking me and uh, all the you know chess world you know crashing down on me. Uh, I think uh, learn you know dealing with that you know. <laughs> was a learning experience, you know, dealing with all that pressure and competing under all that pressure. But, but again, to be clear, on the specific allegation, have you ever used anal beads <laughs> while playing chess? Oh. That's not a question I ever thought I'd ask a guest. Oh, my time. God, this is... <laughs> this is just too good. This is seriously, like, out of this world insane. Uh, well, you know, you're curious... Let's go back. Let's watch it again. But, but again, to be clear, on the specific allegation, have you ever used anal beads <laughs> while playing chess? <laughs> Not a question I ever thought I'd ask a guest, to be honest, but... Uh, well, you know, your curiosity is a bit concerning, you know. Maybe you're personally interested, but uh, I can tell you no. <laughs> OK, categoric no. Of course, yes, categorically no. Yeah, look, I, obviously, I didn't, I didn't make the allegations. I'm just repeating what was put to you at the time. Uh, as a result of the furore that developed, um, you were investigated <laughs> by chess.com. They banned mm -hmm. you uh, while they did this. 
and they published a report uh, saying that you had likely cheated more than 100 times in online games. You then admitted you had cheated, I think, twice, you said, uh, in online mm -hmm. games on chess.com when you were 12 and 16, but denied ever doing so in an in-person game. Is that an accurate uh, assessment of what went down? That's correct. So I guess the obvious question from but that is, given you've admitted to cheating, is it completely outrageous that people thought you may have continued cheating? <laughs> Well, let me just clarify that the chess.com report where they, you know, accused me of cheating over 100 games is, is completely defamatory. And, you know, as outlined in my lawsuit, uh, you know, uh, the person who actually wrote that report, uh, Danny Wrench, told me himself uh, that they knew that I had never cheated while streaming. And uh, the most serious accusations in that report happened while I was streaming live on Twitch. Mm -hmm. And the only reason that they banned me, uh, you know, was because... Okay, like, I mean... <sighs> That, that's, that, that's what Hans is saying there. I mean, at, at the end of the day, I, I don't think that's what was said. I think they were talking about specific matches in the Chess.com report in prize money events. So, I mean, that's, that's a little bit disingenuous. You know, merger with the Play Magnus group and uh, their new you know, s you know, star ambassador was making a mockery of himself and they need to back up his accusations and discredit me. Mm -hmm. So Chess.com re Chess .com's report accusing me of 100 games of cheating is, is frankly ridiculous and the timing that they decided to ban me you know only during this merger and only after uh this accusation you know uh, it's absolutely ridiculous and, and that report should not be taken seriously whatsoever but you also appears it's important to note that it was a 51 page hit piece right and at the end of those 51 pages there was no evidence whatsoever that he cheated online that was the accusation that was what they had banned him from that was what, what magnus had uh, stated there was not a scintilla of evidence to support any okay. of that, and there still isn't. I understand, but, but just to be clear, again, um, Hans, when you did cheat, what the ones you've admitted to, what were the circumstances of the cheating? I don't recall that's what the what the well, what I was the years old, report uh, said. In but the, uh, uh, I was very young. It, it was not. Uh, it was uh, you know uh, in, a, in a tournament, but uh, it was a childish mistake and something I've admitted to, and uh, I don't think that uh, something you do when you're 12 and something. You know, with you know, a couple hundred bucks in the. I mean, I, I'm I'm confused. I, I'm actually confused. Like, I, I'm actually I'm actually confused. Like, they're saying that the report. I mean, may, may, maybe the lawyer just got the words confused. To be fair, like it's it's all obviously possible. He could have just gotten confused. He might say over the board versus online. But it just seems. Um, I thought the report very clearly said one thing and not the other thing. But let's keep going. Uh, uh, I was very young. It, it was not. It's probably uh, just. It's probably just confusing it was, words. Uh, you know, uh, in, a, in a tournament, but uh, it was a childish mistake and something I've admit to. And uh, I don't think that uh, something you do when you're 12 and something, you know, with you know a couple hundred bucks in the line, uh, should have any. No, but you know, how did you? Like how saying, did you, you know, cheat? As, well, you use a, a, a you know, a, a chess engine to, what? To, to give you the moves. Well, you just what a computer or something. Uh, someone was a, it was like an iPad. So someone was giving you moves from an iPad. Mm -hmm. Yes, it was a uh, it was a very childish thing. I had no, I didn't even understand the, the seriousness of, of what was happening. But then you were sixteen 12, and did it you know, again. So. Was it the same is it the same thing again when you were sixteen? Well, when I when I was sixteen, th this was not a prize money event. These were random, meaningless games. It's for, like, for, you know, first things first, I'm just going to outright say this, like <clears throat> an event, whether it be title Tuesday or an event for a couple hundreds of dollars, even if it's like $200 first prize, like say rainy Kings or something like that is never meaningless. Like th those are games with like money on the line. Like you have professionals trying to earn a living playing the game. Like uh, that's, I mean, I don't know what to say to that, but let's keep going. <laughs> going yeah, but how did play, you cheat you know, the second Duty time? And you well, let's go back. What do you say? Well, when I was, when I was 16, th this was not a prize money event. These were random, meaningless games. It's like, you know, going yeah, to play, you, you know, Call of Duty. And you... Wait, did you just say it's Call like, of Duty? You know, yeah, but how play, did you, you know, cheat the second time? You... It was the similar, similar manner. So Call of Duty? First... I mean, if, if you, like, cheat with Amosis or some of these other things in Call of Duty, you get banned from Call of Duty. What is he even talking about? Like, you get banned. If you, if you, get, if, if you get caught cheating and caught... You get banned. Like, it, it, it's, this is not exactly like rocket science. That's one you can put down to being a 12-year-old kid. All right, you make a mistake, you learn your lesson, you move on. But to do it again four years later when you're 16, only like four years ago, why did you do it again?
Mm. Well, uh, you know, uh, it was a. I, I saw those views, those games as, as meaningless, um, and they were meaningless. There was no money or anything attached to them. And um, again, it was a childish mistake. I was living on my own when I was 16. Um, I was financially independent, and uh, I felt a lot of pressure. You know, I just simply wanted to to uh, get a higher rating on on the website. But I want to make a differentiation, Piers. When, when you when you talk about online chess and in-person chess, this is a very very different thing, and you need to understand the difference between that. These online games. Th these are absolutely, absolutely meaningless. And you know, some. Of oh the my who... God! Online games are meaningless. Mean online games are meaningless. Wow, I I've heard it all. That's just wow. Uh, that's just wow. That that's incredible. I'm sure that uh, Maxime Vach the Grav, the uh, French player, doesn't agree. Let me see if I can find this tweet from uh, MDL. Um, <clears throat> let me see if I can find it. Yeah, let me see if I can find MVL's tweet quickly. I, I think MVL made a tweet. Uh, let's see. L l let me find the whole thread very quickly while we go through this. I mean, that's amazing he says this. Um, yeah. Okay, what else do we... One second. Um, yeah, so, so MVL, like, I'm just going to put this up here very quickly because we, we, ha we have this thread from MVL. I'm not going to go through the thread in depth, um, but but let, let's, let's go through it. It says, okay... Um, it's, let's see, I don't need to read the first couple. We'll start with number three. It says you could imagine a timeout system if a player is strongly suspected, but without enough proof for a ban, you could give that player an opportunity to prove himself by playing from a live location with a neutral, with neutral equipment without having to give names. Number four, for players that are eventually banned because the evidence is so strong, it should ideally lead to a ban over the board. I believe that is the one deterrent strong enough to help getting, to help get rid, getting rid of this plague. Um, so yeah, so MVL basically right here, Maxim Vashlegrov, one of the top players in the world, essentially is saying that online should be treated the same way as over the board. <clears throat> so I, I mean, I, I'm just kind of stunned that Hans is basically saying online chess. It's, just, it's all just meaningless. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter at all. I mean, that's uh, that's very disheartening. Very very disheartening to hear. Or, or accusing me, you know, uh, in these casual online games, you know, you know. Some people are, are streaming, you know, it's not, you know, you need to really well, understand I guess, look, here's the, the problem the, the I difference have with it, I, I don't like people that cheat in any form of competitional sport because to me, it just kills the integrity and purity of it. And I guess True. you would agree with that, right? No, of course. So, you but know, you my... should understand, you know, the difference between when you're a you know, young child and, and you're under severe pressure and, and, and you make a mistake. And, you know, you should also understand that uh, when it comes to over-the-board official tournaments, I've never cheated, and there's absolutely no evidence that I've ever cheated. He's getting angry. He's getting, he's, getting, he's getting angry here. You hear how his voice is going up? He's getting, he's, he's starting to get angry here. Um, why am I misinterpreting? He just said they're casual, meaningless games. That's what he said. Those are his words, not mine. You know? Here's the problem with that. I, I, like I said, when you're 12, all right, I get it. But to do the same thing again when you're 16 shows there's a pattern. Well, and we only we only actually have your word for it, right? I mean, there might not be hard evidence to have nailed you, but you can understand why people will be suspicious given your omissions. I mean, if I play with my village, if I play with my village friends at golf, there's a kind of integrity to the to the way we play, even though there's no money on the line. If one of them cheated at golf and I caught them, <laughs> then I might give them a pass, although it would just be unthinkable they would do that. But if they did it again, I'd never play with them again. Whoa, 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 what was that? Whoa, 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 whoa. What, did the Lord just touch Hans's leg there? Wait, what was yeah, that? I might give them a pass, although it would just what was be that? unthinkable they would do that. But if they did it again, I know. What, what, what is that? What is that? What, what is that? I just, I just noticed that. What, what is that? Okay, he'll do it a bunch of times. Okay. I'll play with him again. Pierce, we understand Hans was 16 years old. He made a mistake. We understand that you have a different uh, interpretation. He was playing online in a game that really didn't matter at, at a young age. Uh, we understand, and you're not wrong, but to try to extrapolate from the fact of something that he did on an online game when he was 16 and say, once a cheater, always a cheater. If you did something when you were 16, I'm going to hold it against you for the rest of your life. We think that's a little harsh, and it certainly doesn't properly characterize... Out of um, interest... All right, but tell me, why couldn't he answer that question? Mm. I think he was trying to... Well, no... Uh, well, he wasn't. You, you jumped question, in. Sorry. Yeah, oh my god! It's really aimed at you. you. You understand my analogy, right? If people, you know, if you cheat in a sport once, well, well, well when you're I can young, say, but let, let, let me comp let, Well, we, I can give you an analogy as well. So, let's say that you know, you know, you know, a 16-year-old kid went into like a, a pickup basketball game. That is the equivalent of the games that I cheated in at 16 years old. Is the equivalent 
of a meaningless pickup basketball game. So let's say in a pickup basketball game, you know, wow. you, know, you know, you did something. I don't know how that would, you know, mm. whatever, you know. So let me get, let me get, let me step in here and give you guys an example. If, if I'm playing a meaningless game against, let's just say Ali Reza Farouja, I'm playing a meaningless, meaningless game against Yana Pomnishi. If one of those guys were to cheat against me, would I really feel okay and think that it's meaningless? Of course I wouldn't feel okay. It's not meaningless at all. That's just, that's crazy. That's crazy. You, know, you foul, they didn't call a foul or something like that. Let's say you, you know, did that in a pickup basketball game. Do you think that that should should define my entire career? It's not especially, a foul, you know, though. You're, you're using I'm... you're using you know computerized systems to well, some way of to, okay, to, I understand to that. make but moves. Some way I mean, of in cheating, chess, you know. I can't think of a more egregious way of cheating than doing that. You're using oh. a non-human brain oh. to beat a human. I mean, it's just fr it's. Fragrant. But he did not do that here. But he didn't. He did not do that here. Meaning, what he did back then, what he did uh, about five years ago, and then about ten years ago. You're correct. He, he's, uh, he's admitted that and he's apologized for that. Yeah. But that has absolutely nothing to do with what happened here. It, and he, nothing else could be closer to the truth. He played with integrity, he played with honesty, and he won that way. So you, yesterday, I believe, uh, you played Vladimir Kramnik. Oh, on oh no. Uh, oh, and wow. And you beat him. And Kramnik said afterwards, I've decided to stop playing on chess.com <laughs> from tomorrow on. Oh, no. There's too many obvious cheaters on here. Nothing is done to clean the platform from these small crooks. Harsh words, but true. What did you, what did you make of that? Well, the Kremnik situation is quite complex because I actually beat him about a week ago. This, and, this is uh, the one thing I am going to say here, like because everyone's probably assuming I'm biased one way or the other. For for peer for for peers to say harsh but true, like it is a little bit of like questionable context. That that is a little bit questionable uh, in terms of the way that he phrases that. There, that is a little bit questionable. That's the first thing I've seen that is questionable. Well, the Kremnik situation is quite complex <laughs> because I actually beat him about a week ago, and uh, he made a video that was a bit confusing. <laughs> but um, actually, a couple of days ago, I had private correspondence with him where he told me that he has personally has no issue with me, and where he said that uh, he it was not meant to be an accusation whatsoever. So, uh, what was it supposed I don't to be? I mean, that's couldn't, it, to couldn't me. have been a more. Well, recent... wait a second. Kramnik actually said harsh but true. Oh, that was part of the quote. Okay, that I did not realize. Okay, that he, that was that was true. He said harsh but true. Interesting. Interesting. Suggestion well, that you cheated again. Well, that's, that, well that contradicts uh, you know the, the direct you know the the private correspondence and email that he sent to me. And but why would I, he, he actually you, invited me? Why would he me. infer you're a cheat in public in the way that he did? That was yesterday. Well, he, he, but he, he, it's, he, my name was never mentioned. You know, he's <laughs> he just, accused he a lot you. of people of cheating. He's accused, <laughs> yeah, but he's, he's, he played, that same day, he played against, you know, 10 other people. Right. And considering that I was invited by him to Amsterdam to meet him and to play games with him, <laughs> um, it seems a bit weird uh, that, you know, uh, that he would this do that. This whole thing you know, is and insane. Then the next day, supposedly accused me of cheating. So, you know, I understand that how it might look, but, uh, you know, he's privately reached out to me and I was invited to Amsterdam. I unfortunately can't go um, due to another conflict, but uh, I hope to meet him and to discuss things in more detail with him. Okay, you sued mm -hmm. um, Magnus Carlsen. Isn't that Carlson. the real damage of this also, Pierce? Isn't that the real damage as well? So whenever now someone beats someone, rather than acknowledge it and say that I'll get better. Wait, what just happened? Did I just have a game? Wait, wait, what just happened? Did I just have a game start? No, what just happened? That was weird. Okay, wait, what just happened? Let me close this. Just happened, sorry about that. Let's keep going. <clears throat> I must have been following Magnus or somebody. Let's keep going. That whenever someone beats you, well, yes, of course, Terence, unfortunately, try to take it away from them. Yes, but unfortunately, actions have consequences. If you admit you've cheated twice over a four-year period, uh, and you become a grand master the year after the second time, and you're now only 20 now, people are going to obviously cast aspersions. Well, why, well, why do you of... focus on those two isolated incidents? Why don't you focus on well, all the two he's admitted to? He's won. They're the two your clients admitted well, to. Of course, but the other. The... The other hundreds of matches that he's won are those totally meaningless. So you can always focus on the shape. I don't know. I don't know. I can well. only. The majority. I'm not judging your client. I'm just saying mm -hmm. he's admitted to cheating twice over a four-year period, and that's why maybe people are in meaningless games. You know. I mean, people do wonder <sighs> how did correct. you We're beat. Not... They do wonder how did you beat <sighs> Magnus Carlsen. Um, okay. Well, if you want to take that logic, you know, you want to take that logic, right? So I have proven my strength, right? Chess.com themselves. Oh, uh, meaningless games. Oh, man. Meaningless games. Have said that since I, you know, <laughs> since they gave me a short ban before, they said that since then I have never cheated. Mm. So 
on their website, I've beaten some of the best players in the world. I've performed at the highest level on their website, which they, they themselves say that I, I didn't cheat in. In addition to that, in over-the-board tournaments, I have continued to play chess at a very, very high level. I have, you know, you know, my ranking, I, my ranking. Did I not mean, just, I, I don't, you know, I, I, I don't, I, I, I mean, well. obviously, like what the Chess.com report. I mean, it's very clear. Like Chess.com stands behind the report. What it says or doesn't say, like, I'll, I'll leave that up to like their, their own interpretation. Even after this victory, I have proven my, my chess level and my chess strength time and time again. This is simply a case of, of you know, where bullies are, 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 you know, going after someone because they threaten their business interests. So you, know, you should be looking at the fact that. Of course he's a bully. He used his entire empire. He used his connections to chess.com. He leveraged his, you know, the fact that there's a, you know, a, a merger happening. And he got all of these people to attack me. And it was, it's a bully. It's a simple thing. But, you know, I don't, you know, let people bully me. I'm going to stand up to him. And I stood up to him. And, you know, I look forward to... Chess empire. Ch ch chess empire. Yeah. The Magnus is chess empire. Yep. 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 Board again. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to, you know, do what I do best and, and, and prove myself. Are you still suing him? Again. Are you still suing him for $100 million? <laughs> no. You dropped that. <laughs> the case has been resolved, Pierce. Yeah. Did, did he... Correct. Did, did he pay any money or? <laughs> we can't discuss that. Oh, wow. Okay. Out of interest, how do, you, how do you disprove that you've used anal beads to cheat? <laughs> Here I we mean, go well, again. How, how could I, you know, prove a, disprove a negative? It's, it's like, well, no, you know, that's how, I'm how do you expect me? But, but, but let's first all discuss that, you know, that is oh, not man. a serious theory. Okay. That was something that was taken out of context. And that, that was never a, a serious thing that was something that the media caught up but that was you know if you if you look at the the consensus among chess players the consensus among experts it is an unequivocal fact that i have never cheated in an over the board game so i find you know yeah, but, uh, again i'm just asking yeah but hands i'm just be, wondering how do you disprove it i mean were you strip searched did they explore <laughs> cavities where, where do we go here <laughs> oh my god <laughs> well, through tournaments there are security checks where they you know will do you know various security checks you know metal detectors different scanners um would that pick up anal so beads you they, know? oh wow I, I don't know pierce i i, I have no I'm genuinely I, curious. I, you should I invite no them on I'm your not, show you should you should invite them on your show and ask them that it appears that that's the main topic of your curiosity appears to be that as opposed to the fact that you have a 19-year-old champion who defeated a champion who defeated the whole world of chess in the largest cyberbullying case in history. The world of chess versus... Wow. Wow. Still... I mean, like, wow. Uh, yeah, that's um, the largest cyberbullying case of all time. That's, um, that's, like, really sad to hear someone say. That's really sad to hear someone say. I mean, there, there have been people who've been driven to suicide by cyberbullying, and you're literally going to compare that to this. Like, that is just tragic. Really, really tragic. I mean, seriously, people have been cyberbullied and committed suicide, and you're gonna you're gonna try to s try to say this. That's just so tragic to hear. To talk about it, and he's still a victor. And instead of becoming bitter, he became better. And you want to ask him about the anal bead, something he never said or never did? We don't know the answer to that question, Pierce. Maybe you can ask the anal bead people. Have them on your show, and they can explain it to you better. I think I will because it's actually a fast. I mean, I, listen, I love <laughs> chess. I was my school. My prep school you chess champion. You seem to champion. love anal beads better, Pierce. Well, I was my prep school chess champion. I never cheated, right? So we have that. Mm. Uh, we're different, right? I until did, somebody I was... says that you did. Until somebody says no, that no, you did. No, no, I was Hans chess champion age 12, Hans actually. Never the same either. age that your client cheated, I didn't cheat. Never crossed my mind. Would never have cheated at, at chess. You're a better mm. person. You're a better person. You, your words, not mine. Thanks. Wait, what? Uh, but I'm just yes. I'm genuinely... Wait, 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 wait. Wait, what just... Wait, did his lawyer just wait? Did Hans's lawyer just say that Piers Piers Morgan is a better person than his client? Did, did I just misunderstand that or something? Wait, what? Wait, wait a second, I have to go back. Wait. But he says no, that no, you did. I Hans was chess champion either. age twelve. Hans actually, never the same either. age that your client cheated. I didn't cheat. Never crossed my mind. Would never have cheated at, at chess. You're a better person. You're a better person. You, your words, not mine, Terence. Um, okay. I'm, just, I'm genuinely curious. It was a massive story, as you know. It's why you're famous outside of uh, the chess world. It's because there was this allegation made, and it was fueled by the world champion who couldn't understand how, in normal circumstances, you would beat him. Uh, and then came Mrs. Uh, well, he's lost to many people of my same ranking many times. So this idea that it's a statistical anomaly, he can lose one game. Mm. And, and that's the issue, right? He lost to people similar age, similar rating, 
multiple times recently. So me beating him in a singular game is not a statistical anomaly, right? You know, chess, a lot of the top players are very, very good, and there's slim, slim That's margin. like, that's not, that's not, that's not the point, but let's keep going. So anything can happen in one game, and, you know, considering my recent rise, I, I, you know, it's, uh, you know, it's not going to be the last time that I beat him. He hasn't agreed to play you, as I understand it. Is he, is he, is he chickening out? What's the deal there? No. I mean, I, like when Magnus has lost, so let's just say Esipenko or Pragnant or others, like I'm, I'm just waiting to hear like, where, where is Magnus bullying them? I'd just like to know where Magnus is bullying Pragnananta or, um, or Esipenko or all the others. I'd like, I'd like to know where, where that happened. Yeah, I'd like to know. Oh, he has agreed to play me. He put out a public statement that he's, he will play right, against me. Right, but there's me. no date, right? So, well, when, it, when we are matched in a tournament, uh, which, which is, is inevitable, uh, 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 we will play. And will you allow yourself to be strip searched just to rule out any rumors? Whoa. Uh, there, there, there's a touch again. Jeez. Find wow. that question to be just, you know, I, I can't take you seriously when you ask those questions, Pierce. I'm sorry. Because you're, you're entertaining, uh, 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 honestly, an allegation that should, should not even be taken seriously. Because it's it's purely you know for you know for you to get media attention when this when this is it's not even a serious <laughs> thing how can how can you as a reporter take that allegation seriously at all? Well, I mean, listen, Elon Musk. Uh, who no, but owns... I know. Do you genuinely believe that? No, but do you do you, Hang uh, on. You know, do you actually I, believe that that, I, that is the case? I don't know. Could you could you even I fathom a world? I don't know. Where, I know. I know you're is... capable of cheating because you've admitted it. I don't know how far you go. Mm. You cheated twice in a four-year well, period. I've never cheated in an over-the-board game. I've never, well, I'm clearly not, I'm not capable, and I've never cheated over the board game. I'm so, so confused by this. That. You accept clear. that, right? We have your words. My that. word, it's unequivocal. Chess.com themselves said that. Right. It is an unequivocal statistical fact yeah. that I have never I, cheated. I, here, here's board. what I don't understand. Like, why on earth is Hans doing this interview? That's what I don't understand about this at all. Like, why on earth is he doing this interview to begin with? It just doesn't make any sense. Why would you do this interview? Board game. And that is something you cannot debate. Elon Musk, as you know, tweeted... Uh, on what was known as Twitter then is now X. Talent hits a target no one else can hit. Genius hits a target no one can see because it's in your butt. <laughs> what did you feel when you read that? <laughs> Jeez. Well, uh, I was a bit surprised. Um, you know, uh, I was surprised. Uh, you know, I, I, I didn't really think much of it. You know, I, I focus on competing and um, I don't let these things affect me. And uh, my goal is to become the best chess player in the world and, and, and to give back to chess players all around the world. And uh, I think that chess is a beautiful game that should be spread, and that's why I intend to do a lot more charity work and, and give back to the communities who, who help me. Do you think when you play Magnus Carlsen again, you'll kick his butt, for want of a better <laughs> phrase? <laughs> wow. You know, I'll just let my chess speak for itself. Hans Neiman. Uh, and Terence, your lawyer. Thank you both very much indeed. That was a wild interview. Thank you. I got to be honest. That was pretty wild. That was pretty wild to. Uh, that was pretty wild to listen. To. I, I don't. Frankly, I don't understand why Hans did this interview in the first place. It doesn't make any sense to me why he would do this interview. It just seems very clearly like uh, he's going to be asked these questions that, that like what what do you what, how are you even supposed to how are you even supposed to answer some of those questions? Just kind of wild. Really, really wild out there. Why just why? Yeah, I mean, it's just it's just kind of wild. The, the whole thing is wild. I, just, I don't know why you would do that interview. It's publicity. Yeah, I mean, but wow, wow. That was uh, wild. I mean, my only takeaway is when you when you say that, like, essentially, like, whether he's referring to the games against, like, Nepo or the others or whether he's talking about, like, um, whether he's talking about, like, the tournament when he's 12, like, at the end of the day, calling, it, calling games meaningless is really, I don't know, it's just sad. I just find it sad. That's that's the bottom line. I find I find it sad. Um, so, yeah, it is what it is. Um, yeah, yeah, it's, it is what it is. But definitely, yeah, yeah, that's that's what it is. Um, call call br bringing beads in the interview. Pierce is a clown. I mean, but at the end of the day, it's true though. I mean, when, when Elon starts talking about beads, that that is that's what like made it go so go around the world. Because when he tweeted on Twitter, that that's when everything blew up for sure. So. Uh, it is what it is. Definitely a little bit, um, a little bit wild to to listen to. So yeah, that's what it is.